We will make a few years the golden age of infrastructure in the Philippines. In other words, we are going to build, build and build. One of the most popular construction methods used by tunnel boring machines, or TBMs, is EPB. Underground TBMs are constantly subject to static earth pressure and water pressure. To even out and balance them, thrust jack cylinders apply forward pressure. The earth pressure balance is managed with an earth pressure gauge. The ground is excavated by the cutter head and broken up. Additive is injected to soften and adjust it, so that it can more easily convey pressure to the earth pressure gauge. Pressure balance is maintained while excavating, and soil is evacuated using the screw conveyor. TBM thereby balances static earth and water pressure to smoothly and stably perform excavation. TBMs, such as EPB machines, are composed of a shield body, which performs tunnel excavation, and a backup system, which carries the equipment necessary for this excavation. The cutter head rotates, excavating the soil in front of the TBM. The cutter head is equipped with disc cutters and scraper bits. These can be replaced when they become worn down. The bearing is rotated by the cutter motors, turning the cutter head at the front of the TBM. Thrust jack cylinders are extended to push assembled segments, and the counterforce pushes the TBM forward. The TBM is equipped with an articulation jack system for negotiating sharp curves. The cutter head is composed of a front and rear shield, and the articulation enables them to excavate these curves. The erector holds a segment for each stroke of excavation, assembling these segments in rings. The erector places each segment in place individually, and then places the key segment, completing the ring. The TBM uses a symmetric staggered joint construction. The embedded pumps in the backup cars pump A liquid and B liquid to the grouting units mounted in the machine. Two grouting units pour grout between the segments and the skin plates while the TBM performs excavation. This prevents subsidence and water leakage from between segments, as well as rapidly stabilizing segments. The additive pump in the backup cars pumps foam and polymer to the cutter head. Additive is injected by the cutter head while machine excavation is in progress, solidifying the mud. The screw conveyor carries excavated soil to the rear of the TBM. The soil is passed through a rubber hose to a backup conveyor and tunnel conveyor in that order, and carried to the rear of the tunnel. The use of tunnel conveyors is far more efficient than evacuation by muck cars. The rolling stock supplies new segments. 
The rolling stock is made up of a locomotive, two segment cars, and a platform. A crane picks up individual segments brought in from the backup and loads them one by one to the erector. Tunnel boring machine ang makin ng gagamitin sa paghuhukay ng lupa para sa Metro Manila subway project. Labing dalawang metro ng lupa kada araw ang kayang hukay ng dambuhalang machine na ito para sa kauna-unahang subway sa Pilipinas na may habang 33 kilometers mula Valenzuela hanggang na iya Terminal 3 sa Pasay. Magkakaroon ng labing pitong istasyon ng Metro Manila subway mula Kirino Highway, Tandang Sora. North Avenue hanggang sa BGC at FTI sa Taguig. Layo nitong pabilisin ng biyahe mula Quezon City hanggang na iya ng 35 minutes mula sa kasalukuyang 1 hour and 10 minutes. Mismong si Pangulong Duterte ang nanguna sa pagbaba ng tunnel boring machine kahapon sa subway depot sa barangay Ugong, Valenzuela. 488.5 billion pesos ang budget sa subway na pinondohan ng gobyerno ng Japan. Sa 2025, magiging partially operational na ang subway at tuluyan na itong magagamit sa 2027. Aabot sa 370,000 pasahero kada araw ang kayang serbisyohan ng subway. We will make a few years the golden age of infrastructure in the Philippines. In other words, we are going to build, build and build. So if you like this video guys, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell para lagi kayong updated. Muli, this is Kapitan Nero, nagsasabing paalam!